The Windermere Steamboat Museum was taken over by Lakeland Arts in 2007. The museum will luckily reopen in 2017 as Windermere Jetty. Within the museum there are a collection of boats. Each of the boats will tell their story and their connection to the lake. It's an amazing collection. It really does tell a story of Windermere, you know, and some of the, the sort of quest for speed, the, the sort of boom of leisure and water and those two things going together. Hi, um, my name's Nick Paul. I'm currently um, here to help restore some of the boats for the museum opening in the next year. Um, we're currently working on Branksome, it's uh, quite a famous boat. I think the Duke of Edinburgh and the Prince of Wales have both been on board this boat uh, when the, uh, museum, the old museum originally opened. I'm working with Nick. We are playing off the surfaces and we're going to put infills in to make sure it stays the correct height. So when we re-bolt it on tomorrow after we've glued it all up, all the bolt holes will line up to exactly the same spot. It's a really big piece of wood. It's also like some really curvy grains. It's also quite a rare shape of wood. And uh, you've really just got to be quite confident and just go with it and sort of believe that you know what you're doing. When they originally built the boat, they would have, this, this section here would have been one of the first bits they would have built. So none of this stuff would have been in the way. Um, they would have had a set of plans as well, which they're working off. So all these angles would have been on a set of plans. And they could have done pretty much everything I'm doing like on the bench. Within the museum, there'll be a variety of spaces that you can go to. A cafe, shop, exhibition space, wet dock, learning and community centre, conservation workshops where you can see the conservation in action, and outdoor spaces to explore. I'm the construction project manager for Lakeland Arts. Uh, my role is basically to liaise um, with the main contractor on site um, and also to keep an eye on quality. The general public can wander about outside the buildings in the rain. The roofs actually link up between the buildings, so the idea is you can come out from one building, you're not going to get wet before you, you move on to the next. As you're coming from the car park, which is roughly where we are stood now, the car park's going to be, the roofs will sort of form a picture frame with a view right through onto the lake. For people who live locally, there's quite a, a, a fascinating collection of, of boats but also stories that go with the boats and people that go with those stories. Also for people who aren't that buzzed up about boats I think the whole site, the whole project has got some really great aspects you know it would be a, a, a really fun place to visit.